This blue sea slug is adorable enough to make anyone want to pick it up and start playing with it. May seem like a good idea based on how cute and unique it looks. But if you do that, you could end up with a regrettable experience. You might get sting and injected with a painful venom. How and why you might ask? Stick around in, you'll get the answer in this video. Here are 5 facts about the blue sea slug. Now before we begin, I just want to make it clear that its current name is the Glaucus Atlanticus, but I'm just going to use blue sea slug for easier reference. Now without understanding all of the way, let's get straight into it. Number 5. Though there are many evidence that they live throughout the world's waters, the temperate and tropical waters to be exact, the blue sea slug can be found in the east and south coast of South Africa, the European waters, the east coast of Australia, and Mozambique. They live out in the open waters, but are often found washed up on beaches. So if you live in these areas and still haven't seen one of these adorable blue sea slugs, you could stand a chance the next time you go to the beach. Number 4. Like most of their species, they can live up to a year. They often live a full life because they spend most of their time floating upside down showing off their bright colors which is on their abdomen to scare off predators. Yup, you're looking at it floating upside down and that which you're seeing is its abdomen. Its back has a grayish silver color. It floats like this most of the time and even onto its prey which comes in at number 3. Though small, they prey on some big sea creatures. One in particular is a Portuguese man of war which are dangerously venomous. But the blue sea slug, however, is immune to it. And also, it stores and uses the venom it gets from the Portuguese man of war for its own use. One of which is to make a more powerful venom for itself, which is why manhandling them isn't such a good idea. Also, they would kill and eat other individuals if they are in captivity, which is kinda weird if you ask me. Number two. When reproducing, both partners have a male and female sex organ, and after mating, they both produce egg strings, which they often lay on the carcasses of their prey. And finally, our number one fact is its size. How small do you think the blue sea slug is? Small enough to fit through the eye of a needle? Well wrong. They can get up to an inch and a half. Also, they closely resemble one of their relatives, the Glaucus marginatus. Here's a picture of them both. As you can see, unless you know them well, it can be quite a challenge to tell them apart. But here is the Glaucus atlanticus, and here is the Glaucus marginatus. The difference is in the color pattern of their abdomens. And that's it for this video. Be sure to leave a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and to subscribe for more. Also, I'll be leaving you with some animal pictures for you to comment below which animal I should make a video of next. The one that is selected the most will be in the next video, so be sure to comment your favorite. Until next time, love your pets.